welcome to Garden Invaders from Tisley in the West Midlands. Yes, we are at the Birmingham Railway Museum and just down the road is another very dodgy garden. With me is my trainee fireman and extraordinarily experienced garden designer, Mr Chris Collins. Well, I could stay here all day, Mr Evans, really, but we've got a garden to build. I've done the design, I've got a plethora of materials and the invaders are waiting to go. He's got a plethora of materials. That's got to be worth watching for, hasn't it? Anyway, uh, we're fired up, ready to go. Full steam ahead. Today we're invading the garden of personal trainer Sarah Hall, who's being helped out by her best friend, Vicky Adams. Sarah's getting married in a few weeks' time and dreams of having the perfect garden to match her perfect man. That's something we can definitely help her out with. So, how long have you been here? Uh, five years. So this is you and the boyfriend? Yes, fiancé. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> fiancé, boys! OK? <laughs> no chance! <laughs> Why hasn't he sorted it out for you? Uh, well, I mean, it's not... Both of us aren't particularly green-fingered and we're sort of doing the rest of the house up and this has kind of been the last thing, really. Um, and we're planning a wedding. So what style yeah. of garden then? You must have something in mind. Then. Ooh, I'm really. I don't. I don't mind. I mean, as you can see, it needs a bit of work. So anything that's a bit funky, a bit modern. You know, we like to have friends round. So a bit modern. This is going to be a bit of a party garden, is it? You're going to be doing yeah. the vino out here, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Are you quite good at gardening then? Are you? I, I'm a keen gardener. Yeah. Oh, you. So this has yeah. really upset you. <laughs> well, I did actually you do did some help. work on it. Yeah, about two years ago. I can see that someone's looked after the garden at some point because there's a few nice plants in it and the lawn, it's been thought about. It's just that yeah. everyday maintenance hasn't gone on, has it? Now, <laughs> you have to convince me okay. that we shouldn't just go home, OK? I need to convince me why you think we should be here doing your garden and, frankly, not doing, like, next-door neighbours or somebody down the road. Because I'm working so hard at doing my house up. Um, I'm getting married in four weeks and it would just be fabulous to carry on the celebrations in my garden. Um, and you're running out of time, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> to be fair. All right. So who's you're presumably doing the gardening? Mm. I will be. Because yes, you're a big green yeah. finger and like that. Yeah. So you'll be doing the questions with me. Have you been revising, mm. reading the books? Yeah, you've lent me one. I kind of had a flick through, but it's all a bit daunting. Is there a difference between reading and <laughs> flicking? There's a plant catalogue as well. Didn't we? Oh yes. A plant catalogue. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask prices, am I? To get, to get the mini yeah. with the, with All the right, it's going to be a very hours. entertaining day, I can see that. So, <laughs> you and me are going kind of out and down the road to a neighbour's house. Yep. Okay, do the questions, mm. leave you two together. So, are you ready for some hard work? We've got a plan, thank you, I Penny. Yeah. So, my remit was something quite modern, contemporary, That's trendy, right, yeah. like, and uh, obviously for, for use for uh, the old glass of wine, etc. <laughs> so, initially, I've got all the way through the garden, like a red gravel, yeah, right. and I'm going to plant yeah. herbs and grasses and stuff through that at intervals. But I've got a sunken sleeper pit here, That's which is going to be like fantastic. a seated area, yeah? yeah? And then sitting next to that, I've got a patio of, like, of sort of a granite colour, and also there'll be a little area here, maybe for, some, uh, for, for a barbecue and then a, maybe a little water feature as well, yeah? Oh, yeah. And here I've got a chrome metal trellis bit, because I've heard she likes the metal, yeah? yeah it's quite trendy modern, and modern. Yeah. With a compost area behind it and I'm going to retain the apple tree. Great. All oh, right, thank you. T-shirt. Yeah, there's a T-shirt. So you ready to do some damage? Yep. Let's cheer. Okay. So, neighbour Frieda's garden. Yes. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it's gorgeous, it's actually. Gorgeous. Mine's a shame. <laughs> yes, it does. You're, <laughs> you're absolutely right. But sidle down here, because we've made it even more gorgeous, by adding in, on the lawn, all the plants that could be yours, OK? They're all in groups, chosen by Chris specifically for the design, because you're going for something that's a kind of funky, aren't you? Yeah. You like yeah, a bit of funky like kind of... Yeah, grasses and things, yeah. OK. Red yeah. grasses. OK. Are your first group, OK? Yeah. Then here... Hot perennials. Mm. Next, cool herbs. Ooh, I like herbs. And then finally here, architectural plants. Okay, right. the kind of spiky formiums. Mm. Very okay. important, okay, to get that kind of structure. Like evergreens are there all year round, yeah. so when the flowers are gone, you've still got something in the garden to look at. Okay. okay. But that's not all. 
because Vicky, or the Vixter, <laughs> as we now know her to be, <laughs> oh, bless her, she has got to answer a question as well right. about gardening, which is probably less of a problem for her yes. than for you. Uh, yeah. Okay. But if she gets it right, she gets a fantastic outdoor stereo system. That's for later, though, for Vicky. Wow. All right. Amazing. Your job, as I say, is to get the plants. It's really very important because clearly, without them, the garden is. It'll be nice, but it won't be great. Okay. Okay. No We're going to start over there with the red grasses. Stipa gigantea is the graceful giant of the grass world. The Spanish monster gets up to seven feet in height and its oat-like flowers look great all year round. And it's only two feet high, New Zealand native the curly top sedge is a dwarf in comparison. Curling tips and unusual colour are best set off in gravel or when planted in large drifts. And you can see why this one got its name. Japanese bloodgrass or Imperata rubra has blood red tips that deepen to burgundy in late summer. Now, mm. here's a question. Nervous? Bit. <laughs> okay, good luck, Sarah. Okay. Here we go. What term describes the leaves of a plant that are a mixture of colours? Usually a combination of green, white, and yellow. Are they a variegated, hybrid, or crossbred? Variegated, I would say. You're going for variegated? I think so. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good, very Excellent. good. Excellent. <laughs> they will be whisked into the garden straight away. And in fact, we can see the invaders from here. So, um, Guy, yeah. can you come and fetch these plants, mate? Now Sarah's going to notice a difference in the garden straight away because all of this is going to be gravelled in with a nice terracotta gravel. And that'll also make a sound and I like a bit of noise in the garden, you've got to use all your senses. But this is going to be the nerve centre of the garden, this area is going to be vital because this garden's going to be very much about socialising. And here we're going to have a lot of bar, barbecue area, essential. And we'll also have a little water feature down here, again to add a little bit of noise, a little bit of effects. Now stepping up here, this is going to be clad in sleepers. There's going to be a raised bed and I want that full of plants so I hope Sarah answers all her questions properly. And moving on to this, we've now got a sunken seating sleeper area. So that'll be sleepers around the edge and sunken sleepers for a floor and that's where you'll sit and have your cold one or your glass of wine if you're a bit more refined. Now I'm going to change the angles on the garden a little bit more. As I come over here, I'm going to put a, a triangle patio in here made of granite and that'll sort of hopefully give a bit of a sheen when it's wet, etc. And also provide another seating area. This will get infilled with gravel and be planted with herbs and grasses. And to keep with the contemporary theme, at the back here, we're going to have an aluminium trellis. And hopefully that will set the whole garden off. And at the end of the day, she'll love it. So I reckon, invaders, we've got plenty to do. Crack on. OK, put your chest down like your nose. Keep looking forwards. That's it all the way down, no cheating. That's it all the way. How many have I done now? You've only done ten. I have not. <laughs> What kind of personal trainer are you? Just a masochist. Mm, I'm a Sadist, bit of a hard taskmaster. <laughs> I've got to do it down here now. <laughs> Need a rest. Look, that took, that's it... take, look at that, that's taken a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's not the best exercise for getting rid of that. Is it not? What is no. it? No. Sit-ups and uh, fat, cutting out fat and maybe alcohol from the diet. No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I couldn't do that. 42 <gasps> years it's taken. <sighs> Exhausted. Plants. Mm, yeah. For the garden. OK. You sadist. This pretty little bellflower, Campanula Elizabeth, looks as graceful as its name sounds. The tubular bells bloom from July to September, giving an injection of colour to a late summer border. Next up, the Peruvian lily or Alstroemeria. This one, Inca Tropic, is a new addition to the family and it certainly isn't shy. Another new addition, Geranium Pink Spice, is a fantastic ground cover plant with unusual foliage. The great thing about this is that it's rabbit proof, so if you've got a problem with bunnies, this one's for you. Penstemon Purple Bedder is a Mexican little number popular in English cottage gardens. A sun worshipper, it thrives in well-drained soil and flowers right the way through to autumn. Here's your question for them. Good luck, Sarah. Thank you. Which herb is used in a classic partnership with onion to make a meat stuffing? Is it rosemary, parsley or sage? I believe it's sage. That was pathetically easy, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't it? Why am I so kind to you after you just humiliated me 
in front of my mother. <laughs> Do you want me to have all those pretty plants? I do want you to have those pretty plants, and they are yours now. They're Yay. going into your garden. Thank Dan's you. the man <laughs> to take them away. After a lot of toil and sweat, we're finally starting to get somewhere with the garden now. And I'm just working on this raised bed area, which hopefully when Sarah answers her questions later, she'll win some plants and we can just spray it with those. And if you look over here, we get much more progress. This is a decked area. Now, you've always got to improvise when you do a garden. And originally, we wanted this to be sunk. But we soon realised that you'd have to dig up half a Birmingham to get it there. So it's risen up, but I think you'll agree it's looking pretty good. And we put a frame down and put these boards on and then they put these lovely red sleepers round the edge. So it's a nice seating area for you for having your beer. Good thing about it also is this sleeper will match in with the terracotta gravel. I'm going to paint the fence metallic grey and I'm also going to paint these boards metallic grey as well. So what with the sleepers and the terracotta gravel and the metallic floor and the metallic fence, I've got a bit of colour combination going on there. There's only be one thing missing really and that's all down to Vicky because there's an outdoor sound system to be won and today's star prize so we're all rooting that she'll win that later and it'll be beer and sounds in the summer. You're looking much less nervous now. I feel a bit happier. Yeah, well, hands. I think it's since, since you took me to task. <laughs> it's empowered you. Take over my show! <laughs> you need more plants, obviously. That's the name of the game for you. And the next group up for grabs are the herbs, which I know you particularly want, don't you? Salvia cardona is a member of the sage family and popular with bees and butterflies. It's mostly grown for ornamental value, but the tender young leaves can be used in the kitchen. Delphinium Magic Fountain, not a herb, but a cool blue nonetheless. A cottage garden favourite, the tall blue spikes glow in late evening light and are said to ward off ghosts. Lavender Melissa is the perfect plant for creating a perfumed hedge and if you want to chill out, a few flower stalks in your pillowcase will give you a good night's sleep. Yes, they are great plants and they could be yours. Here's the question. Okay. A little bit trickier than the last one. Oh, God. <laughs> The spiny-leaved plant, Onopordum acanthium. Do Latin at school, did you? No. Oh, you could regret that now. <laughs> and you could well regret having made me do 20 press-ups, actually. Considered by some to be a weed, is the national emblem of which part of the UK? Is it Wales, Scotland or the Channel Islands? I think that's, this one. that's Scotland. So why do you think that? Because if it's, it's just the name, sounds a bit kind of thistly, no. Slight clue in the fact it says spiny leaf plant at the beginning, obviously. Just a bit. Correct answer. <laughs> Rats! <laughs> no, I do want you to have a fantastic garden, obviously. Now, I'm going to take these into your back garden. I'm okay. going to see how they're getting on. Maybe ask them to do some press-ups and see how unfit we all are. And then I'm going to be back in a moment to get you the architectural plants, hopefully. Fabulous. Okay, so chill out, I'll be back in a moment. Excellent, thank you. Yet again, a spade doing nothing. Well, there we are. It's all changed. As mate, progress. It, you know, I can't, almost can't remember what it looked like. Can't you? No. Look at there it now. A, there was a bit of tur turf here. There's a yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's amazing isn't it, how quickly you forget. You do, it, yeah, is, it, it yeah. is extraordinary. So this you've got as a nice seating area, presumably. Yep. You've got some nice angles going on here as well. What's all this about? Yeah, that's going to be a, a, a granite patio mm -hmm. in a triangle shape. Just to sort of keep it interesting, break it up a bit. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. And then what's yeah. going on round it then? And then that'll be gravel in there, the old gravel, and then I'm going to flake it with herbs and grasses. Flake. <laughs> Designer's term, fleeking. Flake it. Um, what colour is the gravel? It's going to be like a terracotta, a light, a pinkish. Terracotta, all kind of ready colour. Yeah, yeah. Ready also, yeah, I'll see it when it goes down, but that's that's the that's general idea. Nice one. Yeah, you yeah. crack on, it's looking great, mate. It's looking right. really, really good. Fine. Now, so we're talking terracotta, <laughs> the Vixter. OK. So there's going to yeah. be a lot of terracotta -y red. And kind of blue. Blue. Now, that says to me a certain football team. Villa. Villa. OK, what do they support? Blues. Not good, then? No. <laughs> How's that going to go down with the old fiancé? <laughs> I think if if I can manage to win the star prize, we'll win him over. You think so? Yeah. Are they going to be videoing the wedding? I presume so, yeah. D you might want to pass on a little bit of advice from a pro about weddings. Yeah. Video the wedding, then play the tape backwards. Always guarantee a happy ending that way. <laughs> All right? Now, David! 
What's the matter, Dave? Hello, mate. What's the matter? <laughs> Laughing at your wedding gag, mate. It's all right. You know, I've been there, mate. I've been there. I know about these things. I like that. Now. <laughs> that. Dry mix. Dry mix concrete. Right, OK. Put a whacker over it. Go yep. rock hard. This is great, by the way. Looking good, isn't it? It's looking very nice indeed. It's going to be another good one. And on time? Yeah, I reckon. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> That's not good enough for me. I want to be home by 7. We need to get you your final group of plants, OK? Mm. They are the architectural plants of the form rooms. Formium flamingo, you can see why this one got its name. The deep pink spiky leaves grow to about a metre in height and give colour to any border all year round. Formium platz black is a dark purple dwarf variety that's at home in a border or pot, plant en masse for a dramatic effect. The question is a plant identification question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three plants okay. in front of you here. OK. All I need to know is which one is a grass. It was all going so well, wasn't that's it? That's got flowers on, so that's not going to be a grass. Hmm. So you're getting rid of that. Do you know what that is? I don't know. It's a daylily, OK? Oh, so, is it? Yeah, so it kind I, of looked lily. Happily, like... happily get that out. So you're down to two. Right. I think I'm going to go with this. You're going to go with this This is one. the most obvious looking grass You're going to go me. with this one, OK? Yeah. Think... This is an iris. And this is Miscanthus. It's a grass. Yeah. Yes! Remember there, I thought you might change your mind. But no. Oh, no. Clean sweep. Fabulous. 100% couldn't do better. Excellent. They're going to be put in the garden in two seconds. Hopefully they'll be planting them pretty soon. Okay. And then we've got one more little job for you, right. which is a little bit of a DIY challenge. <laughs> All right? When I first designed this garden, I could see it was very long and thin and very rectangle. And my first two bits of it are very square, like the raised bed there and the decking area. So I thought, oh no, how can I change this? So I put in a patio of granite effect in a triangle shape. And Dave's been working on it on, I have to say, Geezer. Whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, you oh, no, I look at you, man. You're absolutely perfectly clean. I am clean. spotless, you're, you're right. Anything in, man. You've done a, you're doing a superb job, it mate. Look, it looks my good. My mind's eye is exactly <laughs> as it's done, mate. It's a triangle. Brilliant. And how did you get these edges? Because that is just, I mean, that is. Well, what well I did, sharp, it, as you it? saw earlier on, I had a pin and ringed the whole thing out, so I had a, yeah. a string line all the way around it, yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. equilateral triangle. Yeah. Then I could overlay the slabs, pull a string line on top of the slab, pencil mark, and you get a perfect cut. Very professional, eh? Very professional. What can I, you say? Now, I'll bet you're cutting anyone in comes even near it, aren't you? Come near that and some very bad things will happen <laughs> oh, to kneecaps. Oh, so with that, that <laughs> thought, I think I'd better just get out of the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, there's something about you that reminds me of Charlie Dimmick. Um, there is. I think it's the hair, because it kind of like it glows, doesn't it? It's amazing. I love it. Now, <laughs> her speciality, of course, is the water, water feature, feature. And I thought it would be a brilliant mm. project for you to do as well. OK, because <laughs> water feature in the garden looks fantastic. Yeah. This is a self-contained lily pond, basically. Oh. You've got everything you need here. Mm -hmm. All the bits and pieces for the pump and everything in there, the pond pump. Some sprays for the outside right. to make it a bit more funky, OK, because it's going to be freestanding, this, okay. above the ground. And then in here are all your plants, which I haven't done packed yet, but inside there are your lovely lilies, OK, oh, in a basket fabulous. and some other plants down there. Basically, mm. build yourself a lily pond. Right. Happy with that? I think so. Of course you are. Charlie can do it, you can. <laughs> Mr. Evans. Mr. Collins, sir. How you doing? Very well indeed, but I'm kind of unoccupied at the moment. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, you, you love a project, don't you? I you do. like this bit, don't you? I do. Well, on my design, I said there's some chrome trellis work at the back here, which is going to seal off this compost area. I've got some chrome tubes. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon you could do, do a bit? I could, I could. And uh, the good news is, is yeah. the posts are already erect. Penny's doing nothing. Could she help out? She's probably a bit busy at the moment, mate. Is she? All yeah. right, I'll do myself then. <laughs> All right. You crack on, you're going to I've got to go and see the bar and the barbecue, mate, because that's got to be the most essential bit of the garden, really, what? isn't it? Barbecue? I thought it was a toilet block. <laughs> now, there's a very important day coming up in this house. After 18 months of bated breath, there's a wedding going to finally happen in four weeks' time. Sarah and Toby are going to tie the knot. And this garden is going to play a very important role in that. So, what could be more important than a bar and a barbecue area? A guy here has been working hard on it. How you doing, mate? All right, not too bad. And I see all the breeze blocks go up. I yep. can see what that's doing. Just tell me about how you're going to make the counter. Oh, what we're going to do, mate, is uh, put some of these 4x4 posts in the ground. Yeah, yeah. Bit of 6x1 on the top. 
And then we're going to glue these. These are beautiful, aren't they? I like Fantastic, these. Yeah. Granite, it's got a granite effect. Yeah, yeah, they're actually floor tiles, but I think they're going to do the job just fine if we put them on top of it. And then where are they going to go? They're going to go. They're going to sit on the top all the way around here. So, so that's just going to look brilliant, isn't it, mate? Yeah. That that the geezer knows what he's doing. Right, quick and easy way to a very effective trellis. The posts are in the ground, they're four by fours. What I've done is taken full lengths of these six by twos. Rather than cutting them to fit between the posts, all I've done is notch them out to fit round the posts, which will look a bit smarter. I'll just chamfer the edges off like that. Then I've just measured 10 equal, 11 equal spaces down here because each of those chrome poles will go through one of these holes. There are 10 of them in total. And then on the bottom one, I'll just put a little indent about that deep with the drill bit to be able to sit them in the bottom. We'll be able to slot them in from the top, bang, 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 sorted. You have got to get all these goodies in front of you for your mate. I know. She's gonna be well upset if you don't get this. I know, she said she might not be my friend. <laughs> I oh, know. <laughs> After eight years, you could blow it now in seconds. Right. Here you go. Good luck, Chuck. Which pure white Floribunda rose shares its name with a type of lettuce? Is it Webb's Wonder, a Lolo Rosso, or Iceberg? I'm going to go for Iceberg because icebergs are white. But Iceberg lettuces are green. I know. But Iceberg roses would be white. Oh, Mark. They are nice, aren't they? <laughs> Come on. Correct answer. Yes, Fantastic. you still have a friend. And one who's now able to make lots of loud music in the garden. Right. Feel good? She owes me big time now, doesn't she? She does. <laughs> she does. You are finished now. Okay. Okay, you Fantastic. don't need to go back into the garden. You can go back indoors. Don't say anything, Sarah. No, I won't. Okay, about the garden. And I'll come and fetch you when the garden's finished. Right. All right, well done. You've okay. taken everything away from us. You're Thank a very you. good team. Off you go. Brilliant. Now, Alstomir is a special little plant to me, and it is for a few reasons. Firstly, I just love this lily-type flower. Very delicate-looking, hot-coloured. And I love the Corilla and the way it's got this really deep throat. But it's a really tough plant as well. It doesn't look it, but it's a strong, tough plant. I'm going to give away one of its secrets here. If I tip it up the other way around, you see it's got a very strong root system and it forms these incredible fleshy tubers. And they'll sit in the ground and then during tight times, it will retreat, sit tight, basically retire until it's good times again and re-emerge. And this is how strong they are. I've actually seen these plants carpet underneath birch trees. So if you've got a trouble spot and you don't know what to do with it, Alstromera will help you out. Another favourite, so many favourites, but this one is a little bit special. This is geranium pink spice, and I love this sort of bronzy leaf, very delicate looking, and this will crawl out and creep and cover the area and hopefully dangle over the side of the sleeper. And the added bonus is it's got this lovely, dainty pink flower. You've got to admit, that's something special. Now, this is a beautiful plant. This is Carex Buchanani, and I've chosen it because I love this bronzy, strawy foliage. And I'm going to use it to make a general point because there's nothing better than on a winter's day than sitting in a basis border all covered in frost. I love that straw-like effect. It's part of the seasons. And also, it also means that the root ball is protected throughout the winter by the dead foliage, hence it helps your plant survival. Describe to us all what your garden looked like <clears throat> about eight and a half, nine hours ago. Um, uh, brambles at the back, a bit of a kind of lawn, um, loads of weeds. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take a look at your garden now. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> so oh. Gonna cry. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Take it. She, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> You like? <laughs> you like? Oh, thank oh, you so much. I haven't done anything. Oh, We've got here, oh, God, you're kind of you cooking know. stroke entertainment area. So you've got your barbie, you've got an area that you give as a worktop in there. You've got your outdoor speakers, thanks to the Vixter. 
you've got your seating area, so you can sit down around the back there and have your chat, etc. your glass of wine. And the patio behind that as well is another seating area. The sterling work of Mark's trellis at the back with the aluminium there, because I know you wanted the to... Trellis, no, chrome. Chrome, that's chrome. right, chrome, oh, yeah. yeah. Trellis is made out of chrome, so yeah. when the sunlight shines on it, it will really light up. Your mate Vicky has worked like a Trojan all yeah. day. And that, you know what that means? That means two things. One, you owe a couple of cold ones. Yeah. And two, no if you let it all go, the wrath of vengeance will be down <laughs> upon you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just run through what you've done today. Yeah, go on. <sighs> help paint with the uh, fence, help paint the decking, shifted gravel, tons of gravel, shifted tons of soil. It's... I oh, just, I cannot believe how much you've done and how different it is. It's, it's just incredible. I just didn't even imagine you could do this in a day. It's just fantastic. <laughs> so finally, how surprised do you think your friends are going to be when they come here for your party? They will just be just completely gobsmacked, I think. You know, the state it was in before, it's just, they just won't, they just won't believe it. No, they won't. It's just no. fantastic. It suits our friends perfectly. It does. I think, it's so. just a really chilled out. God, it's yeah. just everything I could have wished for, really. Thank you very much, girls. Cheers, Ed. Lovely Cheers, girls. Day. Take care. Look after the garden. Good one, Mr. Collins. Do you like that? I did like it very much. I always like it when you get lots of rooms in the garden. Yeah, segmentation, can't miss it. Very nice. Can't did have it. to kind of manipulate the design a bit, though. You always got to improvise, haven't you, on these, on these things? You never know what you'll find on the day. And the little um, screen I did at the back, very pleased with that project. Top work, mate. Best thing for me, though, I love my gardening, obviously. Yep. But I love my steam trains more. Well, that was a special treat, wasn't it? I thought, real special treat. Very nice. Top dudes down at the museum. I'll yep. definitely be going back there. But that's another garden sorted. We will see you next time. Cheers, then.